Like, hello? <laughs> hey, everybody, it's still Tuesday. Actually, it's the fucking 2015's first Tuesday of this channel. Sure, whatever. Anyway, and I am playing a Xbox 360 game. I literally had to dust it off. Like, it was just... Like, if I can serve a, a cake that's made of dust, then all that dust on my controller or my system would have been, uh... I have four gigabytes free, really? Is that enough? Oh, hello. I need a friend. Who has this game? Nobody has this game. Uh, I gotta make sure... Uh, this game is, uh, it's so quiet in my apartment, I can't, hello? I never, does anyone know what V-Sync stands for? I never learned. Oh, my mini-map, uh... No, I like my mini mat just staying still. I got this. Alright. Maybe my TV is too low, maybe that's it. But maybe this this game just doesn't have audio. And oh, this is Saints Row. Get out of hell. It's not Saint Rose. So many people say Saint Rose. I'm like, guys, don't know how to spell. Look at the screen. Look at you. Look, look what's in front of you. There's an S after the T. No S after the W. Some people say Saint Row. Saints Rose. It's Saints Row. Like, come on. I once had a, a theory. Like, if you were to... <laughs> Shut up. All right. I'm done. Why is they playing this song? This classical song. Once upon a time, in a far away land, there lived a man so exceptional that the divine hosts of heaven and hell were forced to take note. A man dangerous enough to bring Satan to his knees, but selfless enough to make God himself raise an eyebrow. How did this come to pass? Well, it all began at a very special birthday party for a very special young lady. Surprise! Kenzie. So? You've never been to a birthday party? No. Oh, like not even growing up? Hey, that's my character! Hey! But you celebrated Christmas? I don't have to explain myself to you. How does this game know? Jane Austen is here. We'll play some games. What sort of games? I love sex ball. Who's that black chick? I don't know her. I'm not bugging out. It's spooky and fun. It's a bunch of letters. It's tradition. Every slumber party has to involve a spirit board. Slumber party. Slumber party. And the spirit of the board will I would have been mad if it was my female character. You know, because that, that's my secondary bitch. My side hole. Everyone put their hands on the cursor. Cursor. I feel the magic already. All right. Will the president slash god emperor for life ever choose a partner to reign alongside them? Shh. No. Ooh, someone's getting married. Shut up, Matt. Haha. <laughs> the president's wild heart. <laughs> what are you guys trying to spell? I'm not moving it. Jazz? I'm serious. I'm not moving it either. Neither am I. Jezebel. Jezebel. Oh shit! No. Oh, he's done. Is that, is that not normal? Where'd you get the board? I was going through Zinyak's artifact collection and found it there. Who did it belong to? Alistair Crowley. Wow, what a scrub. Um, guys, guys, 
God damn, okay, what's her name? Oh, hello, wait. Haha, ha. I was saying haha. I think I shot the board. Hello? Haha! <laughs> Are you ready to cooperate? That's more like This guy. It's not like we got a lot of options. So, what's the plan? We mount up and go in after the boss? No, I do. No sense in what's left of humanity walking right into a death trap. Someone's got to live to tell the story. That's a stupid plan, Johnny. I'm leaving you in charge. Hell of a plan. <laughs> I'm, coming. I'm coming too. Are you kidding me? How do you plan to come back? I try not to sweat the details. You need someone with you that does. No. It's my birthday. Fine. All right then. You know where my friend is? Hell. True to its word, the spirit board opened up another portal and sent Johnny and Kinsey screaming into hell. You know what? I want to look at the achievements because I got all the achievements in Saints Row the Third and all the achievements in Saints Row Four. She's gonna land right on top of him. Oh, yes. Oh. Steal a car. Ultra and the Saints haven't been enemies in years. You really think he's responsible? You don't know him like I do. The boss put him through a window for a reason. The reason was the boss was kind of fucking crazy back then. That's a fair point. You know how much easier this would be if we just found a car? You know how much easier this would be if you just gave me a second? Alright. Now how are we gonna find the Eltor building? Biggest building down here. Giant altar sign on it. I don't think this is a problem. I'll buy that. Wait, hold on a second. Are those demons and... <laughs> it's fucking demons driving cars and shit. That's hilarious. Move, bitch. Oh, I gotta go to the Altor building. Ah, oh, this one here. I went from flying across the, the screen to driving a car. Oh, fuck, no! Oh, hello. All right, well. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Relax. I think we may have got the attention of the demons. How do we want to handle this? We handle it by killing demons. I'll fuck you up. Oh, what the fuck? Anyone else want to turn? Isn't there a, a button I can like melee the shit out of these niggas? Yo, let me take this. Yo, Kenzie, let's go! Did you just... What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Who's... Yo. This car is way faster than the one I had just now. Driving together on a birthday adventure. Birthday adventure. Generally, I'm a misanthrope. I get it. This game is so brown. Oh, it is hell. All right, that makes sense. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is water. This is considered water, okay. Am I at the building yet? I have no HP. I have no stamina either. Everything is fucked up. This one's called Hellbat. Remember when this game was just a GTA clone? And now it's a fucking ridiculous, I'm going to hell story bullshit.
Hello? It says go this way, but I can't. That's above me. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry I'm going the wrong way. There's even arrows telling me, hey, go this way. Why is that car on fire? What are you doing? That was planned. Oh yeah. I'm gonna shoot him in the face unless he gives us the boss back. What if Dean doesn't have the boss? I'll probably still shoot him in the face. Oh, hello. I'm here. Excuse me, niggas. Bye. Welcome to hell. Shouldn't you have a receptionist? Such is the plight of eternal damnation. I have a feeling you didn't come here to catch up. Let's talk in my office. So, yeah, like I said, I bought this on a 360. Is it? Can I? Dane was eager to fill Johnny in on the ever-shifting politics of land rights in the underworld. But real estate mattered little to Johnny, who only cared where his friend was. Where'd you put the president? I've been trying to explain that I didn't take them. Bullshit. You expect me to believe you just happened to be the first thing we see in hell. Maybe it's just me, but your thank you sounds more like an accusation. That's probably because he plans to kill you. Okay. I get the trust issues. Can I show you something? The pieces all came together. The president had caused more chaos and destruction than any other in human history. It was only natural that Satan would want them to marry his daughter. What? They, they needed a plan. And Johnny had one. Oh boy, Johnny's plans are always epic. You <laughs> might be skipping some details. No, I said in the face. I like the commitment, but you gotta find a way to get close enough to him in the first place. When's the wedding? I'll just show up and... and then you'll shoot him in the face. Sorry, but it's a little more complicated than that. These things are tied to the soul. You won't be able to enter without one. So how do we get one? You get his attention. I know some places that are of particular value to the father of the bride. You hit those, you'll get your shot. Wait, why would Satan give out an invitation for destroying his stuff? Oh, he won't, but it should piss him off enough to get him to attack Johnny personally. Either the devil kills Gat and Ultor gets the construction contracts to rebuild what was destroyed, or Johnny kills Satan and I'll have to pay less taxes. Pretty win-win. That's why you're helping us? To make more money in hell? Hell's what you make of it, sweetie. Works for me. What you got? All right. Satan had entrusted the day-to-day -day running of hell to five archdukes, and Dane knew how to find them all. But beyond that, not everyone in hell was content to go along with Satan's status quo. There were others who shared Dane's... What the, the fuck? And the Altor mogul knew that the key to unseating Satan lie in gaining their aid. But before Johnny set out to wage war against the Prince of Darkness, Dane had one final gift. An artifact that he had spent fortunes on. Lucifer's Cracked Halo. This holy relic granted Johnny the majestic wings of the Morning Star. However, he still needed help in learning how to use them. You got me out in the sticks, now what? Would it kill you to show a little excitement? You're about to experience angelic flight, for Christ's sake. Dane. Someone needs a nap. Just collect some soul... Great. Now you should have just enough clusters to power up your halo. My halo, halo, halo. My halo... Excuse me, bitch. Ooh. It, what did it say? You can now run faster than cars with super sprint. Yes. You can now launch into the air. Perfect for getting the 
altitude to engage flight. Alright. So it's like the super jump. Like, whoa. Alright. Let's start slow. Try to jump over to that next island. Also, the longer you charge your wings before jumping, the further you'll go. Hey, you didn't fuck it up. Good job. Now get up that cliff. Don't worry. If something looks too high, just keep on jumping off the wall. Remember to charge your jumps if you want to get up the cliff faster. Now it's time to fly. You heard of crawling before walking? Well, in this case, you need to jump before you can fly. Launch yourself in the air with a jump. Oh, shit! Hold your wings out to glide to that next island. I put out some orbs to show you the path. You'll have to dive to reach the next island. Do that by pointing your head down. Don't worry, the rest of your body will follow. So it's when you're in the air, it's like airplane controls. I put a shiny flap orb out in front of you. Collect the orb and your wings will flap to gain speed. No! Gravity! I... Oh shit! Alright, so you can't fly forever. Try flapping those wings on your own. Do a flap on your way to the next island. Let's see what these things can do. The exact opposite of diving is climbing. Climbing will slow you down and eventually cause you to stall. And trust me, stalling sucks. You can flap while gliding to gain additional speed. So the faster you're going, the higher you can fly. Now try to reach the island up there. I got it, bro. All right, time to take the training wheels off for the final lesson. Flying takes stamina. If you run out in midair, you are going to drop like a rock. A stupid, stupid. Let's get you back to the old tour. Well, hey, keep going. Sure thing. See you soon. Here's the deal. If you want some face time with Satan, you need to get his attention. Now, Satan hates being challenged, so anything you do to undermine his control is good. Fraud, mayhem, shooting demons in the face, anything. You can keep track of Satan's wrath with this handy meter. Get it high enough and you'll be having drinks with Big Red in no time. I've compiled a list of shit to do, so take a look and do whatever sounds fun. Oh, one more thing. We have some potential allies down here. Trust me, you want to impress them. That's cool. That's a cool concept. Piss Satan off and go shoot him in the face. So I'm going to do like one mission, I guess, for now. Oh, and I got an achievement. Oh, beautiful. You can now... I know that already. I already read that. There's 52 quests? Holy shit. Alright, I got 25,000 devil money, whatever that shit is. Alright. And I got an achievement, it's so good. Oh, no, 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 no. I have zero, okay. So, so far I can upgrade my speed and my flight. Let's get a, a, a quest. I didn't know what I pressed. Gotta pick it up. I hope there's not something ridiculous like a hundred of these to find. <laughs> there probably are, oh my god. I'm gonna run out of stamina, wait. What is this over here? How do you, can I, wait a, just go straight down? Other than to dive? I'm, I'm not very good at diving. Oh, these have the chase? What the hell, why? Tell me why. Oh my god.
Lost count on these things. And I got an achievement. God, this feels good. Oh, there are so many to collect. I'm not doing this shit now. I'm just gonna go over here and see what's up with this pirate. I'm pretty sure I need clusters to level up, but damn. Oh, Abandoned ship! We've been boarded! Hey! Things off my ship. Can I get a uh, where the hell are they? Oh, yeah. I think my 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 fucking right stick is broken. I will fucking end you. Fuck off. What is this? Oh, that's the enemy. My right stick is broken. This it won't. I wish I had another gun, now I have a pistol. Oh, whoa, hold up. <laughs> oh shit, my bad dog. I don't see where they are. This game is so slow, I'm not used to this. This is good for the soul. I got a bit of treasure in that chest over there. The weapon you find it. Oh fuck! What chest? Oh, a hammer! How do I use it? Just right trigger? Get it off, get it off. You bitch. Get off, piece of shit. It's hammer time, bro. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> I get it. Oh, I got you, Daddy. I summoned these imps to serve as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowels of the ship. Oh, those are enemies down there. All right. Fuck off. Fuck off. Nailed it. Good God, they're swarming me. Wait, they're on him? Hold on, where is he? It's okay to drop the pirate voice. What pirate voice would that be? Wow. Zinyak's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven, it was a logistical nightmare. Saint Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency, it created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. 
<laughs> he was happy and like I wanted to murder people. I grant ye the ability to summon my crew whenever they're I got a new ability? You can now manifest dark entity to serve your bidding. Use up to quick switch to summon. I bow to no crown, not even when Satan himself wears. All right, matey. It's time for your lesson. Let's summon me favorite scurvy riddle hellion, the imp. Why don't you start off by summoning an imp to take out those enemies? Uh, I'll give it one. Alright. Damn! Now take, take down the other demon. Those little ingle biters are vicious. Now let's practice your aim. Take down the demons on the islands. Get him. Damn. Few things are as rewarding as pressing someone into service, am I right? Now get going. There's a whole wide world waiting to be plundered. <laughs> Anyway, well, there you have it, guys. Alright, can I save the game? Yes. Alright. I'm gonna go on to the next game now. See ya! Bye-bye.